Right, so this is the post-fight analysis for uh, Burns versus Crawford. I had it eight three one. I like to score some rounds of draw because I thought the first one was to put out there. They both came in. Crawford started in, you know, getting in. He thought Burns was doing quite well, funnily enough. But I think that's more because Crawford started to engage heavily, and I'm not sure why. He was just a normal orthodox, engaging, going in for it, and um, yeah, it was it was turning out to be a decent scrap. And I think they both put in a, enough to, for the to take that. And in the second round, Burns surprises a shot at me. He starts to hit Crawford pretty easily with that right hand and the jab and whatever he fancied. I didn't quite know why. I mean, I know Crawford uh, is a slow starter, but I didn't think he'd, he'd be that slow. Yeah, this is my phone. But yeah. So anyway, third round comes along a bit more of the same. I mean, Crawford starts to time Burns. Doesn't get hit as much, but he still doesn't really do much in my opinion. Loses the round. Um, and then after that, it's just sheer domination till round nine, which, I mean, the, the sheer domination bit, it was a lot of the same, but it was interesting because Crawford was backing Burns up. I mean, you thought he'd be on the outside, being the pure boxer and not getting in a scrap, but he was on the outside and he was doing really well, and then he just moves inside and he pushes him to the ropes and he stuns him, and for some reason, for those from round four to eight, Burns just... I don't know, he just doesn't seem to want it. I mean, at times he just covers up and backs out. And the commentator kept going on about his jaw, some Jim White idiot or something. I can't remember his name. And he was just tonguing Burns, literally. Oh, jeez. He pissed me off. But something, whether it was just Burns being outclassed and really he couldn't do anything. Because he was saying Burns isn't the same. But it's not that Burns wasn't the same. It's that Burns was just being hit and he didn't like it. So, yeah. And then round nine. I, this was like the best round uh, Burns had in a while so I gave him it I thought hey ho he's not doing too amazingly well let's give him this one to make it a bit interesting and then the next three Terence takes I mean just you can't take it away from the guy the idiot commentator was like oh I thought it'd be more impressive I thought it'd be more this and fair enough he had a bit of a slow start then he just dominated I mean it's just, <laughs> you know he just starts timing your boy and he just starts moving out the way turning him also the ref was a bit of an idiot he let um Burns get away with a few things, but not Croft. And I was like, well, you know, you can't have it both ways. You let um, Burns push the guy's face, yet when Crawford did it, it was all like, no, 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 that's your second warning. Bullshit this, bullshit that. So I don't really know what to make of that. Um, who's next for Crawford? I don't know. I don't know the lightweight division that well. Um, here's an interesting thing. Maybe Broner. Broner moves down to because he's not going to be a welterweight anymore. Moves down to lightweight. Maybe if he can make that weight, fights for it. Uh, there's Vasquez. Oh, I gotta love Vasquez. He's not exactly the prettiest fighter in the world. The way he fights, or the best boxer in the world, or anything. But he just wins. He just can win, and that would be a good unification to see. I want to see him versus Vasquez because he's one tricky, tricky guy to be. I mean. He's just the guy to beat, in my opinion, at lightweight. None of nobody else has had the boss to step in with him. Anyways, I'm gonna go watch Layer Cake and then later, preferably, the Vera Lomchenko fights. Come on, V.